fun. Big changes from the predecessor. Super fun to come. It's got a lot more. <laughs> We've been thrilled with the response on the Sabre 3. I'm particularly impressed that people of a wide variety of experience levels have found that this canopy offers something to them. The novices have been doing really well with it. And uh, people who are of high experience levels, they're finding that the little ones, highly loaded, are a lot of fun. So having jumped all the Sabres right from the very first uh, 150, which I love, by the way, and used to swoop in the ditch here in Deland, progression is what I would say. They're, they've each been different canopies. Still to this day, people tell me, oh, it's just a different Sabre, and I'm like, actually, it's not. It's a, it really is a different feel to it. The biggest difference that I noticed between the Sabre 3 and the Sabre 2 is that I felt like the wing wanted to work more with me on the Sabre 3. The Sabre 2 was great. I started pulling fronts and started to swoop, you know, starting to do 90 degree turns on, on, a, on a Sabre 2. Um, but when I got on a Sabre 3 platform, I felt like I have more of everything. More of the front risers, more of the, definitely more of the rears, and more brake power. It was just an overall better wing. It was probably one of the easiest canopies to demo. People didn't want to like instantly swap out to a different canopy and try it. They want to keep jumping it. The question that I always got when they came down was, can I jump it again? It wasn't, do you need it back? Or like, you know, my three jumps are up, here you go. People would try and like stay away from me so that I wouldn't see them still jumping it throughout the day. So the Sabre 3 has been around for a couple of years and it's given me an opportunity to see how it might have affected people flying. Because um, it's a canopy that has more range. I feel like finally people are realizing they can fly canopies in a little bit of breaks and they can really use the range that the Sabre 3 has to get them places. So I put about 300 jumps on the Sabre 3 last season. Um, once I progressed to the velocity, I realized that it is a completely different animal. Um, definitely takes more skill in flight and uh, more conscious effort to fly it all the way to the ground. But I think that the Sabre 3 was a good stepping stone to get to it because it had already upped the um, response um, compared to other intermediate class canopies and got me in the mindset of um, more powerful control inputs and how to manage that on like plane out and flare and everything. And I um, was thankful for my time spent on it because it really made the transition to a velocity much easier. Primary setbacks on 2020 were the uncertainty on so many things. There were some people that thought that nobody would be skydiving, which of course happened for a while, but that nobody would want a parachute. Why would they want one if they can't skydive? We didn't know what was gonna happen with the supply chain and with our ability to actually communicate, get workers in, into the, you know, into the company to actually build parachutes. And we were very fortunate that we were able to overcome all those obstacles. Despite launching amidst a lot of uncertainty in 2020, this canopy has been a huge success for us. And we are so proud to see our hard work and countless hours of design and testing make such an impact on our community. The Sabre 3 has made its way around the world through our dealership network, making thousands of skydivers very happy. Thanks for joining us on this crazy ride. We can't wait for what's next to come.